Hi, I am Dr. Sudeep Singh Sachdev and I am a consultant in nephrology at Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Gurugram. Today, I will be talking about the early warning signs of kidney disorders. Kidney diseases are now forming a non-communicable epidemic in the world today. This is because there has been a recent rise in the incidence of comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, obesity and so on. Kidney diseases are silent killers. Why? Because we detect them only when they are in their advanced stages. The early warning signs of kidney diseases are very non-specific in nature and are often confused with other diseases. Hence, it is very important for us to diagnose it at an early stage. Here are a few of the early warning signs which I would like to tell the viewers about. First and foremost is swelling over the uh, legs or the shin which is also referred to as pedal edema. It can be diagnosed by giving certain amount of pressure on the shin of tibia that is the lower leg bone and you will see a pit forming there. It denotes that there is accumulation of sodium and water in the body wherein referring to the fact that the kidneys cannot excrete them in a sufficient quantity. Development of periorbital edema or swelling around the eyes can also be an early warning sign. It usually happens in people who have protein leakage in urine. Non-specific symptoms like weakness on which a patient might, might describe that he is unable to perform his daily activities, will not be able to perform any strenuous or exertional activities in any which he used to do previously or decrease in appetite where the person refuses all kinds of food, food which were initially liked by him and he now says that there is a, some sort of nauseous feeling when he starts to take this. So these non-specific symptoms are also an indicator of early warning signs of kidney disorders. Other than this, any change in the frequency of urination that is an increase Certain kidney disorders like chronic tubulo interstitial disorders, urinary tract infections, prostate infections, they present with an increase in the frequency of urination. This is classically described by patients as getting up in the night two or three times, whereas in previously he did not used to wake up at all. This is referred to as nocturia. A change in the consistency color of the urine is also very important. When we have foul smelling urine or a change in the consistency where we have a very uh, viscous or a thick urine or a urine which has a change in color like a pus or a blood in urine, these are important indicators of kidney diseases as well. This could indicate presence of infections which are there in the, in the kidney or in the bladder or could even signify serious diseases such as cancers or malignancies of the urinary tract. Other than this, uh, paleness which we often refer to as anemia that is a fall in the hemoglobin could also be an early warning sign. Why? Because as kidney diseases increases the synthesis of erythropoietin which is a hormone required in hemoglobin synthesis that tends to come down. Other than this even a rise in blood pressure could be a sign of kidney disorder. So any person who has new onset hypertension should get himself evaluated for his kidney functions which includes urine investigations, imaging of the kidney as well as blood tests, plain and simple kidney function test wherein the serum creatinine level is the single most important predictor of your renal function. Recognition and awareness followed by timely intervention at an early stage after recognizing this, these symptoms will be the difference between prevention of kidney disease or the patient ending up in dialysis with renal failure or moving in for transplant. Thank you.